morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Hi, Miss Carrie. Hi, Miss Emily. <laughs> hey, Miss Emily, what kind of hat are you wearing there? Oh, this. Can you read what it says? It says Air Force. Were you in the Air Force? Oh, boys and girls at home, do you think I was in the Air Force? They are mixed feelings about it, but I know you really well, Miss Carrie. Uh -huh. What do you think? Was I in the Air Force? No, you weren't in the Air no, Force. No, I was not in the Air Force, but... Your husband was. Yes, Mr. Carrie was in the Air Force, and so I'm wearing his Air Force hat. You know, today in God's Word, Jesus asked his disciples a question about who other people say that he is, and some people might have been watching Jesus just like you were watching me, and you could go, oh... Maybe it was the Air Force. But when you know someone really well, then you know. Yeah. Does it say in there who he is? It does. I love that God's word has all the answers, Miss Carrie. Don't you? Yeah. You want to say it with me? Uh -huh. Okay. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. It's God's holy word. Everything in it is true. And it's living inside you. And before we study God's word, what do we do? We pray. We pray. Miss Carrie, would you pray for us? I would love to. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for this time that we get to be together. God, I ask that you help us have open hearts and open minds as we find out who you are and who people at the time were saying who you are, but who you truly are. God, we love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today we are still studying the book of Matthew. And was it the Old or the New Testament? The, the New. New Testament. And is it the first or the last book of the New Testament? The, the first, first. Yep. yeah. So, Miss Carrie, we're in Matthew chapter 16. So okay. we got to find those big numbers. Matthew chapter 16. Okay. Okay. So picture it. Jesus is talking to his disciples in the city of Caesarea Philippi. And mm -hmm. over on the hill, you can even close your eyes, on the hillside, there's these tall stone statues. But they are statues of false Gods. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus asks his disciples, who do people say that I am? Miss Carrie? Yeah, right here in Mark, I mean, sorry, not Mark, Matthew chapter 16, verse 14. It says, some say John the Baptist, mm -hmm. others say Elijah, mm -hmm. while others say Jeremiah or some other prophet. Oh, my goodness. Is that who Jesus is? No. No. And we know that because, like Miss Carrie said, God's word tells us so. Jesus then says to his disciples, who do you say that I am? And what did Peter say? In verse 16, it says, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Oh, the son of the living God. Peter knew exactly who God was, just like you knew exactly who I was, yes. Miss Carrie. Yeah, when we study God's word and we get to know him, we know these beautiful truths about him. And I love what Jesus says next, Miss Carrie. He goes on to say something very special about the faith that Peter has in him. Do you see it? I don't see it. Oh, it's right here. He says, I will build my church upon oh. your faith. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Okay, Miss Carrie, big question. Uh -huh. Boys and girls at home, be thinking. What do you think people would say is the church? A building. Oh, yeah. I have heard that before. Kind of like, this is the this is, this is my, my church. Yep. This is my steeple. Mm -hmm. But then we open the doors and you we see, see the, the people. people. Yeah. So we know that the church is, is the people. The people. Yes, the church is the people. It, there's a song. Uh-huh. Do you know that song? I do. Are you thinking about yeah. it? Okay, boys and girls, we'll sing it first, and then you can sing it with us the second time through. Are you ready? <clears throat> Get your voices ready. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. Okay, your turn to sing it with us. The count of three. One, two, three. Three. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. Yes, we are the church together, you and me, Miss Carrie. Uh -huh. As we know who Jesus is from reading God's word, we can share the faith 
that he is the son of the living God. Yeah. It's so amazing. It is. So boys and girls at home, if you do not know or have confessed with your mouth like Peter did that Jesus is the son of the living God, when could they do it, Miss Carrie? Right now. Oh, right, like not like tomorrow or no. a week from now. Right like, now. Right now. Yes. Yes. Right now. You can do it right now. And for the boys and girls who do know that Jesus is the Son of the Living God, how does that change their life today? Like, mmm, I was thinking about the verse Jeremiah 17, 9. It says how our heart is deceitful and it makes us want to do other things that are not what God wants. So if you know that Jesus is the son of the living God and he died for your sins, are you going to follow your heart or are you going to follow what God wants you to do? Miss Carrie? Well, I'm going to try really hard to follow what God wants me to do. Yes. And when we struggle, God says we can ask him for help. Really? And he'll help us. That's yes. Awesome. So... Maybe when you have a friend or a sibling who wants to play with a toy, what could you do? Well, if it's my toy, I could share with them. Oh. Even though that's not really what I want to do, but I right. know. Right, because you love that toy. Right. That's but a great I idea. Would do that. Okay, you can comment down below who shared the toy when you really didn't want to share the toy. Or maybe, like, my son got up this morning and I was studying Matthew chapter 16. Mm -hmm. So we talked about this. I said, Elijah, or actually he came to me and said, mom, can I play the Xbox? And I was like, oh, but what would God want you to do first? He knew what his heart wanted him to do, but we needed to ask what God would want him to do first. Miss Carrie, what do you think God would want us to do first thing in the morning? He would want us to spend time with him. Absolutely. We can spend time reading God's word and praying with God. That's talking with God. And we also should probably obey our moms and dad with doing our chores. Yeah. Before we do something fun like play outside when it's sunny yeah. or play on the Xbox. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you can comment down below when you got up and you studied God's word first thing in the morning. Ms. Carrie, would you pray and ask God to help all of the boys and girls at home and me too? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Heavenly Father, God, I ask for my friends out there that do not know you. God, I ask that they go to you right now and confess you as their Lord and Savior, God. And if they do know you, God, I ask that you help them to want to put what you would want in front of what they would want, God. Mm -hmm. Help them to want to get up and spend time with you first thing yes. every morning. We love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We're excited to hear how you choose God this week. Bye. Bye.